All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know it's bad or it's been cold when temperatures in the teens feel kind of warm. We've had some snow, a little break in the cloud cover out there right now. 14 degrees in the capital. Great Falls, only six degrees. Feels like four degrees below zero uh, east wind right now, but that wind is going to switch directions and come out of the west tomorrow and actually may cause a little blowing and drifting snow up off of the Rocky Mountain front, but still it's a heat wave around Kalispell and Missoula. Temperatures right there near the freezing point. Look at West Yellowstone. What an odd uh, weather pattern. It's been down there well above average temperature wise, well above average precipitation wise uh, for the last month, month and a half. Uh, the warmer air though is coming. A lot of these numbers add to 15, even 20 degrees on top of what you see right there. That's what you can expect for tomorrow's highs. Winter weather advisory for areas east of the Rocky Mountain front, Cup Bank, St. Mary, uh, through Browning, East Glacier, Hart Butte, down through Shoto and Augusta uh, for a little blowing snow. Winds picking up out of up to about 40 miles per hour to, uh, tomorrow, so a little drifting and a little reduced visibility. We've had some snow come through the state early this morning, and then periods of snow have come through. We've got a little break around the capital, also Great Falls right now. However, a bit more snow down there around the Bitterroot will be heading off towards the east here overnight uh, around Judith Gap. We've got a little snow over the big snowies over the little Rockies and uh, the Bear Paws picking up just a little in the way of some snow here. Uh, but there's kind of a complicated uh, situation here throughout the western U.S. One area of low pressure coming through, another stronger one down to the south, and then we've got a couple smaller areas of low pressure. This is not one big storm, but multiple lows coming through the west here, and one of them came through today. And we'll see another one come through early tomorrow morning with a little more in the way of some snow here, mainly west and along the continental divide, but partly cloudy skies, a bit of a west wind. Uh, believe it or not, that March sun angle is higher and higher, so the sun is stronger and stronger, so that will help to kind of mix out some of that uh, cold air tomorrow as well. And then Friday, yet another area of low pressure, mainly to the south, make it some snow as far north as about the capital out through the Lewistown area. But if anybody is traveling Friday down through the Billings area, Bozeman up over Bozeman Pass, Livingston into southeast Montana, that's where there will be some snow. But most of Montana gets missed by this next system coming through. A couple of mountain snow showers Saturday. But all in all, this coming weekend looks pretty nice, especially compared to the weekends that we've had so far this year. Snowfall amounts Maybe an additional inch just west of the capital along the Continental Divide through tonight into tomorrow morning. But watch as we go through Friday, southern half of the state here starts to accumulate a little more snow with that low taking that southerly track. Forecast for tonight, single digits. Yes, it's still cold, but with the exception of Turner, most of Montana will be above zero here tonight. That's progress here, folks. Uh, temperatures single digits around Lewistown, single digits with some snow showers around the capital here. And here's the forecast for tomorrow. Low pressure moving right over the state here. And yes, these numbers are not warm, so to speak, but warmer than what we've been dealing with, even the 20s in eastern Montana. That's much warmer. And look at some of the locations that will be above the freezing point here tomorrow. A couple of snow showers as well. Some sun. Watch out for that blowing snow off of the Rocky Mountain front. Friday, there's that storm a little further to the south. Still highs only in the 20s and 30s, but we're in the 20s and the 30s, not below zero. Saturday, the storm moving out. We've got partly cloudy skies, maybe a couple of snow showers in the mountains uh, near the Continental Divide here. I'm not too bullish on that, but 20s and 30s. And then how about this for Sunday? If uh, you can recall the last five or six Sundays, we've had snow. We've had wind chills well below zero. This is going to be a treat. Not much in the way of wind on Sunday and We'll lose that extra hour of sleep, but we will see that sun going down around 7 o'clock on Sunday night as we spring forward the next snow event Tuesday into Wednesday. But notice the uh, moderation in temperatures here, and I never said that it's not going to snow ever again. It is March, it is Montana, it is still winter, but that winter pretty much over with. You got me doing my happy dance, man. <laughs> <laughs> Things are looking up. Thanks yeah. for that, Curtis. And in addition to that weather news, Carroll College got some good news today. That they did, that they did.